what up everybody thanks for tuning in hope you enjoy this video it's about us tearing off throwing some shingles chain some felt uh punch some facial board and all that good stuff hope you guys enjoy and we'll get to it i forgot to record an intro for it so hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned thanks for watching <laughs> El seguro chueca está por favor. Dale, mi amigo. Tengo un cuadro El niño que soy que soy para la donde me voy que se haga Dios para la donde estoy igual que tiene mi tumba
¿Qué me da eso? Ah. Amigos, ¿eso para qué es? Me estaba grabando. <risa> No les mi bandera. Lo miro la, la drip edge. está así. No, así normal el corte derecho es 90 y como está así en engo, es 110. 110. Sí. Es 110. Soy mexicano, les mi bandera. Ah, Andy Wee. Ándele, cabrón, ándele. <ríe>
employee me. You got another. Be back. Okay, that one goes. We can do after work.
Sí. Ah, cabrón. No voy a filmar. Sí. Sí.
everybody check it out it's day two we did this tore off all this tore off all this came over here tore off all this changed a bunch of this wood right here you can see change all the fascia board all around here we're putting shingles today here he's gonna felt in all the way over here boom Facial board, the whole thing, facial board. The whole facial board. From there. <laughs> and Hector installed it. <laughs> That's Hector down there. We put shingles here. Tomorrow we're gonna come back, install shingles here and all around the whole house. And then we got that building next, right here in the back. All right, guys. That's about it for today. I'm gonna finish. That's about it. See you tomorrow. All right, guys. I'm gonna show you guys how to do flashing real quick before we end out this day. I'm gonna put you on this pipe right here so you can see me do this flashing, and I'll explain it step by step. So first, you need internet flashing, so it's not gonna go all the way around. So you do. You see this right here? This is the rim of the of the flashing. You get this. And you cut it. You cut this right here straight all around the top. I made mean, like barely anything because it's it barely doesn't fit. You barely cut it around like that. So it looks like this. See how it's like cut. You gotta make sure when you put your flashing down that it goes like this so below here if it doesn't go above the wire or whatever clearing you use there's a line right here above it so right here it's about even with the pipe right here so you see how you see the nails that's no good this shingle these shingles have this has to be like this so you don't put nails here here or here you just put nails right here right here and right here so we gotta put one more shingle here. So I'll do that right now. You put your shingle up to there. Make sure it's lined up. You gotta make sure it's lined up like this. So it's nice and straight. Grab your gun. Nail, 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 nail. Nail. So there's a little flap here. Get your knife. Cut it. So now when you get this flashing and you put it on here, it down so now it fits. Yeah, push it down kind of. Take it off so this will stop it. Gotta just clean it. It's a pulse, you just break it off. Chisel it. Flashing. Put it back on. There it goes. Put it like that. Line it up so it looks somewhat straight. Then nail here. 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 And right there. Okay. So now you have exposed nails here. Have your cocking gun. Make sure it's all out. You gotta measure your shingle. Leave a space here so can water can run down the flashing. Uh, it's like about this much. 
got to line it up with the other shingle. It has to line up. Cut it. Lugs uniform there. Get your cocking on before you put the shingles. You gotta cock all the seam so it attaches. It's overkill, but hey, safe and sorry. Put cocking there. Put your shingle back. Lined up. Make sure it's stuck. Here, 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 here. Boom. Done. Then we switch. To this side. Same deal. But it's a pattern. So the pattern is. There has to be at least 5 to 6 inches gap here. So when you assemble it's kind of like a stepping ladder. So you go from here to here. Right there. So this piece. So you saw this piece is a little short, so we're going to take some off. Line it up, make sure it's good. Uh, plenty of room. <clears throat> it's the same thing. <clears throat> Cocking. this all the way down I put a little bit extra doesn't hurt line it up make sure you have your gap right by the flashing so water can run down boom stuck nail 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 I always leave a gap from this nail to this last nail so when you put the other shingle there's no nails right here so when you nail like this the seams when it lines up like this the seams there's no nail here so that's the way I was taught so on and so forth so put you like this this one's easy same deal put this flash in here or this piece here you gotta measure it out so this one you need to cut like this you can just like that. So that's what we're gonna do. <clears throat> okay. Make sure it's lined out. Make sure it fits properly. Okay, good. Take it off. Again. Cocking on all your nails. I go up and over. And I go this way. Up and over here. It's a little overkill, but. Okay. Line it up. Boom, good to go. Nail. So the flashing's here. So the flashing ends probably about right here. You don't want to nail right there, so you still nail on the strip, but you nail up top. So nothing hits the flashing. So your flashing ends up looking just like that. I'm going to come around and cut this right here just a little bit more to open up the gap. That's about it. Alright guys, see you tomorrow.